more trouble in a Tippecanoe County neighborhood. Someone or perhaps multiple people have broken into vehicles in Lindbergh Village. You may remember just a few weeks ago, some residents had their homes broken into. News 18's Brittany Tyner is live in Lindbergh Village and reports the Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office will be stepping up patrols. Brittany? Dan, in less than 24 hours, there were six reports of vehicle break ins, and one man who almost fell victim says that's just too many. He hopes those added patrols will help. You could definitely kind of tell that they were just making their way down the street and checking all the cars. Brian Whittakin woke up to find unfamiliar footprints in front of his house Wednesday morning. They come um, across the street here um, and then across the yard into my yard there by where my car was. And he wasn't the only one. The Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office took six reports of vehicle break-ins throughout Lindbergh Village and surrounding neighborhoods. That's kind of a high number for just a 24-hour time period. Uh, but, but the key here is over half of those that we responded to were break-ins, if you will, of cars that were unlocked. Captain Brian Sterner says the vehicles had valuable items inside. He reminds residents to use common sense, keep your cars locked, and take those valuables inside your home. We don't live 30 years ago where, you know, you could leave your car unlocked outside your house. So times have changed, and, you know, do things to protect yourself. Also warning residents is John Carter, president of the Lindbergh Village Homeowners Association. He says neighbors have been keeping in the know with a Facebook page. It gives people the opportunity to know that you know something's going on and that they can be more watchful. While nothing was taken from his locked cars, Whittakin hopes bringing awareness to the problem will help. I've got, you know, young kids and so we keep everything locked up, but it's definitely scary when we're right there sleeping. As News 18 reported, residents in Lindbergh Village fell victim to residential break-ins late last month. And while detectives are still working to make an arrest in those incidents, Captain Sterner says it's just too soon to say if there's any connection. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Bernie Tyner, News 18.